What's up, sneaky friends and family? It's your boy, McFly, the hardest working man in shoe tame at today, coming at you again with another real review. If this is your first time over here in Atlanta, McFly, man, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell if you enjoy the content. Leave a like if you would be so kind. Leave a dislike if you don't like the comment and if you don't like the content. And either way, leave a comment, man. I greatly appreciate it. Feedback is definitely imperative to YouTube success. Um, Last thing I need you to do is subscribe to the Who has the heat sneaker battle channel we got a banger coming up today at 8 30 p.m today at 8 30 p.m um i collect kicks is going to be going against influence sb and the sneaker addict dj dells will be going up against super cat sneaks on the who has the heat sneaker battle channel if you're in the sneaker battle content that's the place you need to be we are the premier sneaker battle channel on all of you too now that we got all that out the way half off yeezys yes i'm not trolling no i'm not click baiting on none of that i actually got these yeezys half off from adidas shout out to adidas and the confirmed app for uh dropping these for a uh, half price unbelievable i always wanted this shoe but i didn't want to pay retail retail was like 230 or 260 or something like that and i was like nah bro i'm not paying that for that but if i can get it for cheap then i'll definitely get it and i was able to secure a pair of these for 118 dollars shipped yes you heard me 118 dollars from adidas so they came in a couple days and um here we are <laughs> here we are at this point in time man leave a comment below let me know if you copped anything from the yeezy restocks over the past couple weeks the box was eating like crazy um tearing the streets up man if you had a buy you, you definitely cleaned up but if you didn't for us manual folks you were able to get some little trinkets and whatnot and this was one of them so to kick off this review um you see that blacked out kind of charcoal gray outsole with that full length boost underneath um if you know anything about boost you know it's definitely super solid super comfortable um with these mvn models the these adidas in mnvn that's a mouthful i don't know why i'm struggling with that i don't even know what that stands for does anybody know what the mnvn means i don't mountain version i don't know bro but um yeah, that's what they were calling them. Kind of the 700, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, if you will. I don't know why they just didn't keep the number thing going. But the whole midsole is all black. It's usually like multicolored most of the time. You do have a lot of 3M on these. You got your 3M pods here on the heel. You have your 3M 700 on the uh, outside, on the lateral side of the shoe. You also have these little shanks on the sides. Those are 3M more pods over here on this side for the 3m and your two little hooks on the front those are 3m material as well so that black charcoal grayish midsole wraps around the entire shoe and then you get up here to this upper um this tongue is like a two-part material i'm not fully sure what this is but it's like a nylon-ish um material here on your tongue you do have those rope laces with the yeezy infinity lock at the top um it's leather up here on this portion you can see how it um how it changes from this to like a shinier material now this feels leather now i could be wrong but it, it feels like leather so i'm gonna say it's leather his mama named him clay so i'm gonna call him clay um the whole upper is this very thin um like nylon synthetic material um, these little 3M pieces, they're kind of, they feel like vinyl to the touch. Like, they just vinyl those on there, honestly. All of them. And it wraps all the way around. All the way around. All the way around. Um, yeah, so this is just pretty much the whole upper. You know your traditional 700s have a bunch of overlays and underlays and different materials on the top. But these actually don't. Um, interior, you see you've got that uh, Yeezy branding in there and the Adidas uh, Three Stripes logo coming around here to the other shoe. This one has Yeezy with the globe on it. These also came with a uh, inspection sticker. So this shoe was inspected by uh, LT. On April 27, 2022. So that's how long this shoe's been sitting. And to make matters even worse, this sticker was here on the on the midsole of the shoe. I got it off. It left a little a little mark right there. It wasn't that bad, but I was highly, <laughs> highly upset about that. 
Uh, you got a couple tags here. Adidas tags. Uh, some of these, some of these Yeezys have even showed up in outlets. Some in the outlet uh, in Dubai. Hopefully that'll happen stateside. We can get some of the Yeezys that didn't sell on the confirmed app. We can get those for the low ski, low ski up out the outlet. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. Because, you know, I get tired of paying full price for shoes, man. It's ridiculous. Um, as far as comfort goes on these 700s, are one of the more comfortable um, Yeezys to drop, without a doubt. Um, I'll probably give this particular version like a, probably like a B plus on these because the sizing was kind of tricky and I guess we'll go ahead and get into sizing now. So on the confirmed app for these, they were saying buy your normal size and that was a hundred percent super cap, like ultra mega cap, like RPG missile cap, like the cap was huge, man. Um, I know not to listen to Adidas, but a person from the outside looking in may not. So um, I bought these in a 14 and a half thinking that um, I'd be good. And actually, it's not terrible. The 14 and a half is a little snug on my foot. I would have preferred the 15, but um, the 14 and a half is not terrible. But I said all that to say this. If you're going to buy a pair of these, a pair of these MNV, <laughs> I can't even say it without that. These MNVN 700s, you definitely need to go at least a half size to a full size up. If you have um, regular people feet or, or, or narrow feet, then you could probably go a half size up and be fine. I would even recommend half, half sizing up even if you have narrow feet because these shoes are pretty pretty tight. Um, but if you got regular people feet, then half size up. And if you got Fred Flintstone wide feet, go a whole full size up, man, which is what I should have did. But like I said, the, four, the 14 and a half isn't terrible. It's just a little snug up here on the upper um Around, around my foot but it's not terrible it doesn't make my feet hurt or anything it's just a little more snug than than i would like you know i like my 350s to be a little tighter because they knit they're gonna stretch but this is just kind of holding you and this material if any of you were wondering what it is it, it reminds me of the um nike react elements if y'all remember those when they used to drop and they were like see-through they had a pair of DBs and a bunch of other ones. I had quite a few pairs, some of them on the channel too. But the upper reminds me of that, that React upper, um, that little flimsy, thin, kind of plasticky feeling um, upper material on the thing, if I had to compare it to anything. But um, yeah, I got a pair of Yeezys half off, man. Let me know if you guys copped anything from the Yeezy restocks, like I said earlier. Um, who has the heat battle going down tonight? You definitely going to want to tune in for that, man. And that's all I got for today. Until next time, it's your boy, McFly, man. I'll holler at you.